Minglava, D. Video tutorials, Limaro, Kuye, different data sources, the machine, the data, Riku, blue, impolum, less rago, Pupia, Tapi, Machi, Pare Minglava, D. Video tutorials, Limaro, Uza Petama, Kuye, data source, the bono, data resolution, data source, a new new rema, data fine, a new new net, things it hanging is raw, the she get a pipi pare. เออบ่มาคุยกับคอมพิวเตอร์เรามาติดทาเรอีเซอร์เรซิเอสพีดีฟายเนี่ยเนี่ยดาต้าบีสเทมาติดทาเรดาต้าบีสพัฒนาขึ
we are going to read it. All right. So just now I mentioned there are three ways of reading. The first is find or read. Let's run this cell and let's see what are the contents inside. Okay. So all the files are read here, right? All the data are being read, all the contents are being read. Okay. Uh, and then for each line, all right, after one line, is backslash and indicate that you have completed one line, right? Backslash and indicate the next line. Okay. All right. Now let's close this file. After I have read it, I have to close this file by clicking on find or close. So in summary, when you read a file, you see open, there are three steps. First is you open the file by clicking open, all right? Mode equal to R. And you read the data see the okay then you have to close back all right these are the three steps you have to do when you read the open file oh where's the error all right we have an error so there's a mistake in my file okay i put as a instead of a small a i put as a capital so there's a mistake let's redo it all right for a small a okay Good, it is ready now, right? It's, there's no error, okay? I still have the data inside. I can run it and see. Okay, the data are here. All right. Now, let me teach you a better way of reading a file. The better way of reading a file is using with open, all right? When I say this method is better, I will explain you. If you use a with statement, the format is you will start with the key with, right? Keyword with, and then you will open the file, and then as this is a variable name, you will define as as keyword and then variable name, all right? And then you will read the data in find or read. Do you notice something? We don't need to close it again. All right, so it's a better practice to use a with statement. Now, let me teach you how to read line by line. All right, instead of read, let's go and read line by line. If you use a read line, you will read only the first line. Let's look at the data. This is the result you will see. Only one line is being read. All right. Now, let me teach you how to read all the lines and put that into the list. Let's do it. Okay. In this example, you can see that we have read all the lines. All right. Five lines are there and then read as a test file. Oh, sorry, read as a list. All right. So, all the content are kept it in the list. This is how you read, okay? So in summary, the best way to read or open a find is using the with statement. With open, find a, and you are both, all right? Then there are three ways of reading the content. Read, where it reads all the contents. Read line, it reads only line by line, all right? And then read lines, where it reads all the lines but kept it in the list file. ไม่ได้ไปอะตรงอยู่ไปแล้วไปลงอยู่ที่ดาริโกอินโพลโลเลยอยากเลสรากูลีลาตอมาผิดเองไอ้เราที่เป็นอะไรไปอะโซลูช
Now let's tell Vedi. This time we don't need to open. We just need to read correctly. Okay. I will call it as a data and PT read CSP. All right. Then my find is given as DSEX flat five dot PhD. All right. Let's see what will happen. So we just read it. All right. So nicely then. Okay, there's a beauty of pandas. It gives you a table. Right. So it's much easier to see. Okay. You can see the as a table also. All right. So you have the name, age, and gender, and each is separated. Each value is separated. All right. And then put it in the table format. Okay. Isn't it easy? Yes, very easy. Right. Next, we are going to read the Excel files, right? Here, I want to teach you two things. Okay, look at on this Excel file, we have two sheets, data one and data two, right? Firstly, we will read the data from the data one, and then we will read the data from data two, okay, sheet data two, all right? In the first sheet, we have the HR data. We show the HR ID, then you are Mr. Mrs. and then name, all right, then uh, this is a major name and then last name and gender. So these are the information given. But if you notice, the header is busy, all right? We don't know the idea of the, the, the name of that column, each column, all right? So we have to see how we can do it in Excel. Next, in the data too, you can see that some of the lines are uh, written as a header. Right, so this gives the information about the file, these two lines. These are not our data. The data that we want is only in study for row number three. All right, so in this example, we will also see how we can read study for line number three instead of study for line number one. Right, so now see, let's see what we can do. In this exercise, we will import the data from the Excel file, right? So instead of read CSP, we will use read Excel and then HR Excel sample, right? Dot Excel message. So if I read uh, using this one, if you remember, we have two sheets, right? Just now. So if you just give the five path, five name, it will automatically from the first sheet. Right, so we can define the sheet name which sheet we want to read. But here in this example, I just want to read the data from first sheet, so I will keep it like that. All right, but in our first sheet, you if you remember, there's no header, right? So we have to define header to be num okay? so that we have the data, right? So if you run the cell, you can see the result here, okay? You can see the result here. All right, so if I know for header to be NAN, okay, this is the result you will get. The first record will be considered as header. All right, so please be careful. If you are fine, don't have the header, remember to put this header equal to NAN keyword. All right, header and assign it into NAN. Okay, good. All right, now what I want to do is I want to read the donor data from the second sheet, all right, instead of first sheet. So I will still do the same thing, all right. But this time, I'm going to read the second sheet, okay. Second sheet name is given as data two, all right. So if you read the data, all right, so this is a result you will get, sheet name, all right, second sheet. But remember, in our second sheet, we have the data on top, right? So, description about the Excel sheet, okay? So, you can see that there are some data on top, all right? So, this one is giving us an error here. Like, the all the colonies are being defined as end name, all right? Even though we have the column name, okay? So, we want to skip these two rows. How can we do it? Let's do it using the skip rows equal to right let's close this one so that you can see easily all right let's run it again now i have the error why 
because I make a mistake here. All right, this one I don't need and that's gone. So if you put two skip two root to be skipped, and then this is the result you will get. You will start reading from line number three instead of line number one. All right. So line number three is a header, so we don't need to sign header as a then. This is the result you will get. Okay. All right. Skip row header are all the same for read CSV as well. You can use similar. Way. Okay. All right. So uh. Pause this video and do some exercise which I I'm give you in this uh, command line. All right, there are some exercise for you to do it. Okay, let's stop for now.